Hello, Cleopatra. You got two Pharaoh's guards with you, but you'll notice that you start in this just an amazing fortress right off the bat. And over here, Ramses is going to be pouring down the street, but look at the background. Like, see these walls? They're amazing. It reminds me of Formata in a way. We got some triremes or biremes or something like that over here. And look at that beauty. That is the great lighthouse of Alexandria and Egypt, one of the uh, wonders of the world. So now Ramses is seizing our gate. So what we're going to do is I want to show you the other side as well, because on the other side is this beautiful little farmland. So this is actually the interesting point, right? We start in here, um, three highly valuable flags, all at 90 gold production each, and we're surrounded. And normally this isn't a problem, but the problem here is that we have no way, or rather yellow pours in through this gate, blue pours in through this gate. They won't naturally fight each other, and then we can take advantage of the carnage on the battlefield, the balance of it all, right? There's no balance in this one. This is a siege, and we are about to get our butt took, because this is just, it's just brutal. It's brutal. They both attack you. You don't have enough to defend against both of them, because while these flags, we can produce 270 gold, so 1v1, they'd be producing 240, 4 times 60 versus 3 versus 90. It's essentially 270 versus 480, because they're both looking to clean your clock, man. It's absolutely insane. So there's a number of different strategies we can try, but this is the beautiful little farmland. You can see the great lighthouse of Alexander. So you're wondering where Nezon was? Well, look at these walls, man. It's a shame it's not like a siege in that regard. Oh, that must be the vase that I can break, I think, up there. I'm gonna have to go do that. I think that's the vase. Let's see if it is real quick. Can I even get up there? All right, Cleopatra, you, you hold the line. So I'm not I'm not sure of the strategy just yet. That, that That's gotta be the vase. So if you break that, because in each level there's a vase. So I don't think running around. Yeah, I did it. All right, so here's the idea. I need to get six defenders up on these walls up here. I need to get in this flag. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm gonna immediately run over here. One, two, and then by the rest soldiers, which is 11. That should be enough. All right, guards get up on the walls. We've got, these gates have 5,000 health. And so what I wanna do is get the guards up there. I need to give them as much time as possible. And I need to send these guys to just fight it out. Out, duke it out and i'm gonna throw my spears from the sides and look at that we're throwing spears okay now are we gonna win here i don't know looks like we are because i think egyptian spearmen are not nearly as good as roman militia did that give enough time you you can't lock me out all right see because what's happening open the gate is we're immediately getting attacked by ptolemy on the other side squad plus defenders is greater than or less than the limit of units we're throwing a ton of spears so i'm hoping that's enough to defeat ptolemy's forces and then with this 200 bucks, maybe like, oh yeah, maybe gate repair. Okay, that worked. Now I've got 340 gold. So what I can try to do, yeah, I need more defenders over there. It's just a juggling act. I'm, I'm not entirely sure how this, we can attack through the gate. It may buy us a little bit of time. All right, so Ramses did break through. Ptolemy hasn't, but our guys are already throwing spears. And I'm thinking we want limit units up because that gate is already being attacked. And maybe at the next 200 gold, all right, Let's turn our attention over here. Maybe get uh, gate repair upgrades. Because once the gates are down, we're at a serious disadvantage. And I wish I could have a command to open the gates. Oh, they did just barely open. Okay, then I need gate repair time. And can I immediately turn my attention back over here? I'm not seeing anybody attack, but so the issue, right? The map, they, they both forced to come through here. So I'm essentially just trying to buy time, but I don't know what to do after this. How much are these being repaired by? I need a standard bearer to then boost my gold. Okay, the repair's going okay. Do I try to retake a, take a flag real quick? There's Ramses being a jerk. I'll send the army to fight in front of the spear throwing. Buy us a time, buy us a little bit of time. Yep, they're throwing spears over here, which means Ptolemy's at the gates. Do we beat Ramses? Yeah, these gates are down, so this is the, the spot I need to be. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. All right, are they retreating? They are. Replace my losses immediately, and then turn our attention over here, because Ptolemy just brought down the gates. If I could have a catapult on my walls for this one, that'd be great. And they've got a standard bear. I know I need one, so that'll be what we buy next. And with the next bit of uh, money we get, I need to do my best to get a gold upgrade, I think. Yeah, spears are already flying. All right, I gotta watch out for Ptolemy though. Okay, here we go. Uh, Here we go. Get some, I guess, damage. I do want gold though. I always want gold. I think I need to balance gold and damage, but we're gonna go gold first. Oh my God, they just busted through. Hurry up, kill those guys. We gotta get, Ptolemy's killing all my guards. Dang it, Ptolemy. All right, whoa, did they, did they run away? They ran away. I don't know why they ran away, but they did. Ptolemy, what are you doing? Oh, they're getting shot to ribbons. 
One, two. All right, and I need to stay in the flag. Okay, here it is. It's time. I need to get gold per minute so that I can get a ton of gold. Are they already coming back? They already are coming back. My gates over there are being assailed, and I think I only have like two, so then we need to be fast. Wipe out Ptolemy. Hey, Ptolemy, you're on the wrong side of the wall. Die, you jerk. All right, get that gold because Ramsey's just broke through. Dang it. He's gonna get that flag unless they go for the guards first, which does seem to be the case. Yeah, see, when I'm near a flag, I get a ton of gold. I need to win this off of team points, and I think the best way to do that is with gold production. All right, so this is, this is favorable. Because Ptolemy's going to be immediately coming back. And I'll blare the horn when I can. Come on. Uh, there he is. Ptolemy's back. Ptolemy's back. I need to be faster. Why, are, why, why is no one... Guys. Guys. Jeez. You had one job. Blue just retreated. So that's okay by me. Ramses is back. Immediately back. I just worry about when Ptolemy comes back. All right. Blew the horn. 189 gold. All right. Good, good, good. <laughs> do I have to do this for 45 minutes? We're eight minutes in and I'm already just like... I aged eight years. Ramses is back. Ramses is back. Oh my god, they're about to turn their attention to this flag. I should be able to spear that guy. You cannot have this flag. This is my flag. 189 gold, please. I'm at 323, but I'm spending all my money on uh, reinforcements here. Jeez, he's back already? And Ptolemy's back? Like, what do you want me to do? I just need them to fight. I've done my best at holding this as long as I can, and I just don't see it being sustainable because if blue even looks at that flag it's over oh whoa 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 whoa! you're not allowed to do that you're not allowed to do that blue come back here i need to get by i need to get by 10 seconds whatever man jeez it's just it's just stupid all right cleopatra and her guards have held the line for a little bit but i mean you, you can't have this flag man that's just that's illegal okay cleopatra actually survived and we actually have all three flags what is yellow doing yellow what are you doing all right guards are okay over there yeah this this level gives me it's just <laughs> it's okay where's ptolemy i don't even get to enjoy the action because i'm always like i have to watch my back and look there he is you you just beat his army he's like that's cool bro you did a good job. I got another one. I need legionnaires ASAP, boys. All right, that gate fell, but it's holding. So I just need to send, I need to send a wall of men over here. Look at that. See, as these guys are dying, he's already getting his reinforcements in. And that means these gates are going to fall right now. And he's walking towards the flag. Maybe I can lure them out. Ow, all those spears. Hey, you, how are you taking that flag, bro? Oh my God. It's all falling apart right now. It's all falling apart. Hmm. Oh, I have, I have defenders back here. Good. All right. Yeah, blowing the flag and, and getting extra gold, it, it doesn't seem to be worth it. So now I'm down to one flag, and the enemy is getting so many points. All of my advantages in this first third have been largely negated. I got one guard there defending, though. Okay, until the Egyptians start pouring in their reinforcements. Cool. Yellow, you stay over there. Oh, I have four points. Okay. I think I just need damage. There we go. We just need massive amounts of damage. Oh, we got another one. What's the X? Health per second? Nope, just all damage. Hey, Ramses, you're a big stick in my side. How are my guys now that we have damage? Do we just walk through them? Yeah, we do. Oh my God, look at all those reinforcements immediately. All right, maybe we should have just gone mad damage. No, Ramses, you go over there. Go fight blue. Yellow's got five, blue's got four. Blue's gonna be coming soon? Yeah. Okay, damage may have been the thing to do from the very beginning. And there's blue, cleaning up my guards. Charge! If only I could get archers or something like that. Where are you guys coming from? Oh, the respawn point right inside my base? Cool. And now yellow has way more points than me. I need one of them to wipe the other one out. If I go in here and hide, will this work? I'm at, I'm at four gold. All right, I think they might be fighting. Nope. <laughs> How optimistic of me. They might be fighting. And then blue charges in. Look at my gold. It's, it's, I'm not going to be able to replace these losses. And that's Ramsey's behind him. Yeah. You got to be kidding me, dude. It's such a cool map. Oh, man. Hmm. Just me and my standard bearer. That's all I got left. Blue and yellow are finally fighting, but yeah, blue, go get, go get the rest of them. Will you? Will you leave me alone? All right. I've, I've made it outside of the fortress. Let's see if this works. Can we lead a comeback? I mean, we've spent enough time that we're just so far beyond. But what I need to happen is for the enemy to fight it amongst themselves. F looks like it's contested. Now, this is going to take quite a while with no soldiers. <laughs> I have a flag. I may have been kicked out of Alexandria, but you know what? We're going to have to fight our way in some point. Wait, 
This flag first. We'll go from the back and forward. Now I actually have to attack my own gates. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Yeah, maybe that's what I need to do is kick myself out of the fort and then try to fight in. I mean, I still have 25 minutes left to do it. They're just like 12,000 points more than me. But if I can just do it in a way that I can get them by beyond a choke point. So if blue and yellow can just keep fighting forever. The ore of the standard has plus 50%. So this is 60, right? Once it's under our control, what does it go to? Because I think what I'll probably have to do is farm some gold for a while. 93. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, the gates are opening. Does that mean someone's coming out? Nope. Good. Blue and yellow, you enjoy your own civil war. So I took blues, which worked out because if, if yellow had more flags, then I wouldn't be maintaining balance. Yeah, I think I know how to do this now. I should have done this from the beginning. It's worrisome though, because they have so much. All right. I got to hope I can get through the walls. We got gate repair. Is that blue guy coming this way? That's a blue army coming this way. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. That's not the way it's gonna work. Look, I'm taunting you. It's Dudo. All right, blue, you're, all your flags are gonna be capped. You know that, right? All right, we'll get our little damage buff here by blowing the horn. 110% gold per minute. No, Ptolemy, stop it. Oh my God, he's got feroic guards right now. What are you doing? Stop coming this way. Go after yellow. I've got militia with upgraded damage fighting. So my tier one infantry versus his tier three, but we're winning. Wow. I don't know what they're doing. Blue's just like, if he comes out of that door again for me, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> Good, Blue's, Blue's dealing with the other side. All right, let's try to beat down the doors. Now this is 5,000 health. Look at that, the aura, the standard. 30% damage and attack speed, but it was only for a brief amount of time. I have two health. We'll defeat the gates and then we'll pull back. Unless, is that blue guys? No, there's no blue guys to speak of. This is the moment we need to take this flag. Will it be enough? Will it? Testudo, I just need to take this flag. Oh my God, yes. Yes! All right, just focus on the army first. Wow, they're taking this flag fast. I need it so I can resupply my men. Yellow's gonna be coming in soon. If yellow takes blue, then blue gets wiped out. Blue's in the lead. Then we just gotta beat yellow. Now, do they still have spear guys up there? Hopefully not. Blue has one flag in there, right? Okay, then we hold this and we hold, we hope blue and yellow duke it out. Now I have one more than, well, I have a lot more than blue. Blue, you're such a jerk. Go after yellow, just do it. I need a healing aura. Yeah, cause you know they're throwing spears. So we got to testudo this. Oh my God. Oh no, that's bad. I need it. I should have bought uh, respawn time. Oh, and I spawn here. Perfect. Look at yellow just sitting back like, ha ha. I'm upgrading my guys too. And blue comes back with a full army. I'm I'm out of gold. I'm out of gold. Yellow, please do something to blue. Blue, you gotta you gotta do something about that. I'm using tier one militia still, but blue's about to get wiped out. Can I beat yellow? I don't know if I have the gold. Oh my god, I, my army might be totally wiped out. But I need blue to respawn and keep and keep fighting yellow. That's my only chance. I need to get enough gold here. All right, blue and yellow weakening each other. I need to let that happen for a while. All right, 189 gold. Maybe I can kill whoever does win. Ptolemy's gonna win. No, Ptolemy, go after the yellow flag, please. See, look, yellow's already behind you. No yellow, no yellow, this is bad yellow. Bad yellow, good yellow. Don't, don't do it, yellow. G, where's G, this is G. All right, now after Ramsey's another Ptolemy. Oh, Ptolemy's taking yellow's flag. This is perfect. I need Ptolemy to continue pushing that way and blue and yellow keep fighting. Good, it, it's happening. Yellow's gates are blocked and yellow and blue are just keep duking out so if i have the time as long as they're alive if i take this flag this is a risky maneuver but i feel like it needs to be done they do have a guard or two i just can't have an army run by me yes yes blue's wiped out ptolemy's out it's just ramsey's now now i need to beat him in combat oh uh, i need soldiers okay i need to get him when his force isn't all together i just charged in pile them be darned all right let's try to draw them back over here all right, should we do this? We go through military reforms. We get legionnaires. The legion is here. Ooh, there we go. That's a hundred or 30% increase the damage on legionnaires. I need to resupply. Not enough gold. That's bad. That is bad. Now I need to kick them out. Contest this flag before they can start respawning in troops. Oh, uh, it's happening, but I think we just did it. I think we just pulled it off. Oh my gosh. I've almost done it. Resupply the men. Legionnaires popping up everywhere. I have retaken the walls. They, they are almost, not literally, but figuratively. Because I have these gates. Oh my god, I've done it. I've done it. Oh, this this mission. It was so brutal. I mean, we kind of know what's going to happen now. I just have to fight Ramsey's not in front of one of his flags. As I say that, I'm like, you know what? Let's fight Ramsey's in front of one of his flags. <laughs> 
All right. Ramses, I hate you. All right. Blow the horn. Cut through them. Reinforcements flanking on all sides. It's a trap. Actually, you know what? You guys fight. I need to get through these doors and get reinforcements. All right. Now I'm getting so much gold and our score is going up. And the fact that we know we're going to eliminate yellow. Are they going to throw? They're going to throw. Ha! We threw one spear. And I think what we do is uh, standard. Ooh, that was standard respawn time. I meant to do cooldown and duration of the horn. There we go. There we go. All right, on me, on me, on me. We need to make some progress here by taking a flag. Oh man, you just really, and you have your elite soldiers, but we will pass them and I still have 15 minutes to do this. 352, I guess pile them of our own would be helpful. So once they start coming in, they have just such big shields. Wow, I don't think we did too much there, but there's a lot of Pharaoh's guards with spears in their heads. Oh boy. What a war of attrition. Look at that. And then there's another army. There's another one. I got one experience point. So at this point, I'm definitely going damage. Man, they're really good at those. Oh, look at that. I got a spear peeking out of my head. There they are. They're retreating. We'll replace our losses. It's a war of attrition, but we have passed them in points. But what I do want to do is beat them outright in battle. I don't know where he's retreating to. Maybe if I could get just a few more guards. Oh, and I can reinforce myself right out here. Okay. What do I need to do? Standard duration on the horn. He's about to throw. Now we wait till they get a little, that is, I mean, the Egyptians have the best testudo in the game, I think, with how big their shields are. And I think what I wanna do is get flag protection aura because I think I'm in the flag right now. So that decreases their damage by 10%. So we have a massive buffs to our damage and now we're debuffing theirs. Okay, they're way back there. I think I should be able to take this flag finally. Forward progress. Oh my God, 32 minutes of just wars of attrition. Now, where are we on the map? Are we at D? No, we're at C. How did I miss? Oh, I missed D. All right, they're gonna fight us in front of our flag. We're gonna have buffs and they're gonna, we're gonna debuff them. And I've got two pylum. All right, so now you go Testudo. To a little bit. There we go. I think I got their leader. Wait, are they winning this one? Oh, I can't hire on this flag. I forgot. <gasps> no way. This is gonna be tougher than maybe I wanted it to be. That's unfortunate. This is the closest I can get men. Yeah, I think I'm, I don't know. I don't see how I'm gonna be able to push my way through multiple respawning armies. I mean, I'm pretty much fully upgraded. Yep, we're fully upgraded. All right, Ramses. <laughs> Sniped! The limit of units has been reached, they say. Oh, the, the gates are closed, aren't they? Yeah, so my guys weren't coming back out. Great. What? These gates. Come on, move. Ha! <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, I need gates to not just do that. All men on me. We must move. Yeah, not being able to spawn out here is tough. But I guess since it is a siege, they're expecting us to just like, you know. So this is C. I think I need to go for D first, though. I need to whittle them out of all of their gold. But at least I do get protection auras and buffs and debuffs. Where's this flag? It's kind of in a spot I don't like, but at least... Hmm. They're not retaking the other one yet. Yep, they're retaking it right now. I should be able to still get in front of our walls in time. And let's go. And hopefully I don't see him right as I round this corner. Okay. We'll fight in front of our walls. I have 1100 gold and I have nothing to do with it. Oh, all right. I'm going to hold the gates open for reinforcements, which apparently I'm not needing. Yeah, look at that. Keep the reinforcement line open. Now they're retreating after a very, very bloody battle. So now we're going to put them on two flag points. This is good. This is good. All right, we got to delay them as long as possible. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat them here. Whoa, this is risky. Uh, yeah, we got to pull back. Dang, that's my whole army. Let me in. <laughs> Some of them got stuck inside. Oh, you're on the wrong side of the door, bud. <laughs> okay, that, that was kind of close. Now, if they're taking Delta, maybe I can take Charlie real quick. And if they do go for the walls, they're going to have to fight in front of them and attack them. So we'll just smash them, pincer them. But yeah, these, these little ones with these little uh, red asterisks, you, we can't spawn there. Oh, this could be a, a good pincer. Oh, we're going to get pylums in their backs. You guys messed up. This is called Hammer and Anvil. Oh, they just turned, cheaters. Go get them, boys. So they're getting speared from the back from our one lone guard up there. I think I lost a handful of soldiers. I need to beat them here, fight in the circle. The circle needs to give me buffs. Yeah, we should be, oh, he just slapped my standard guy as he was blowing the horn. Standard, I need a new one. Please send me one from Rome. Now we go back and get our army. I think we have six minutes. I, I'd love to be able to do it. Oh, he's attacking over there. This map is so beautiful, but it is so hard. It hurts my soul. Like, what do I do now? I don't even, I, I'm at 10 out of 10. All right, they're about to throw Testudo. I mean, they're about to throw Pylum. Ow. 
There you go. Who in that one? Where are my reinforcements? Where are my legions? Yeah, I've got a lot of points. I've got a lot of points, boys. Come on, bring your spears out. Ooh, that was not an effective one. Prepare to fire. Gentlemen, prepare. And hold fire! A little high, a little high. Those aren't the Pharaoh's guard either. I think those are tier ones. Wait, where is he? Ramses, where are you? Ramses? E. He's my gate. I wonder how much health that gate still has. Hey, boys, we're here. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Ow. Well, he's teabagging. All right, expect another one. Now fire. Or you may fire when ready. Ooh, nice shot. I think that was Ramses. I need more of these guys. Oh, man. Oh, man. The war never ends. Look at that. Ramsey's like, oh, that's cool, man. You, you did a really good job beat me. I'm going to rebuild my army. I'm like, okay, dude, I'll replace the one or two guys you killed. And then I'll, I guess I'll just get ready to do it again. Testudo! Beautiful. My score is great. I wonder how much gold he has. One minute left. Thank the heavens. I want to go sail over to the Great Lighthouse and take a view over the Mediterranean and the Nile River. What a view, man. What a view you'd have. Well, that'd probably be the equivalent of what? A 15-story building? A 20-story building nowadays? All right, Ramses. Have you had enough? A two, Ramses. A two. Oh, is that a full? No, that's a full size army. All right, let's do this again. This is our final skirmish till Rome reinforces me and I win. I hope you know that. There we go. Just mop up duty now. Yes. Yes. Look at this. Wait, am I Ramses or Ptolemy? I've got a Kopesh here. We'll get some militia. And basically what we need to do is see that giant fortress in the distance. Well, that's the fortress of Alexandria and we need to take it. Unfortunately for us, it's held by the great Alexander the Great. But fortunately for us, if you look at the map here, the green faction is Julius Gaius Caesar. So, you know, we got we got that going. Now, as we approach these gates, I anticipate, look at this, look at this amazing Egyptian spear wall here. They're going to shut the gates and we're going to be forced to attack it. So. Gentlemen, prepare. Oh, it looks like blue might be attacking the other side. So basically, once we take the fort, we're going to have to hold it, secure it against our enemies, and then go out and try to dispatch Julius Caesar. Now, we're the Egyptians, and we're red, and, and the Romans are not red. And that may be a little bit weird, but honestly, did you guys ever play Rome Total War, the first one? Remember when, like, the Romans were split into the three families, and I think it was, like, blue and red and green anyway? So, you know what? Maybe it's just one of the families. All right, we've battered down the gates. We're rushing through. Is anyone here to defend? Really? Guys? Is this, is it going to be this easy? <laughs> the best general in the history of histories right now. We've got 400 gold. So if I press tab, one of the things I'm thinking I'm going to want to do is increase the number of units. And then I'm going to go straight into upgrading to warriors. Because I want to get Pharaoh's royal guard here. Uh, blue. Oh, okay. It. Hey, Cleopatra. Wait, Cleopatra? Wait a minute. Is she? She betrayed us. Okay, Cleopatra. Those those are fighting words. We're going to take this because then I'm going to take... I'm going to hold the gate. That's going to be my objective. This may have been one of the best seizures ever. What was that? Where is it coming from? Are you kidding? There's like snipers from above. Okay, guys. Run, run away. Oh, wow. Okay, we found the Romans. I think they're exterminating. Or rather... The Greeks are exterminating. Charge! <laughs> oh, poor Cleopatra. You chose the wrong side. You and Pharaoh's guards here were left against me, the mighty Ptolemy. Now, what's interesting, though, is like, while these guys are like, kind of like classic Egyptians, um, Ptolemy or Ptolemaic Egypt was actually very Hellenic, and Hellenic just means Greek. What are you doing? Oh, get him, boys. <laughs> oh, you poor fool. I'm looking forward to, like, new additions to the campaign. Uh-oh, they're sieging our gates right now. So I'm thinking we're going to get a standard, and we're going to get a standard main sign on it. Now, what do we want? Gold per minute? Movement speed? So the Egyptians have these new superpowers. I'm thinking we want movement speed. I don't think I'm going to have too much of an issue with regards to... Let's get some of the next guys. Oh my gosh, wow. Anubis. My standard bear looks awesome. Gentlemen, once they break through that wall, we are going to destroy them. And you know what? To help with that, we're going to buy throwing spears. 
Be prepared. Oh gosh, blue. That's interesting. So blue is between a rock and a hard place. We've quickly taken the fortress and now blue's going to have green's army. The Romans are going to be right behind them. Uh-oh. They lo they just you you lost your flag, Alexander. <laughs> Alexander took a spear to the face. All right, Alexander. Let's let's 1v1 duel. And by 1v1, I mean, you know. All right, boys. It, 1v1 with a little bit of help from my friends. 357 gold. I'm really having a good time right now. So, let's see where are the Romans at? Oh, there they are. And there is the great lighthouse and the uh, the port back there with some ships. So we're gonna meet the Romans here. You know what, actually, guys, I want you to distract the Romans. Oh my God. Do we want block? Do we want gold per minute or do we want hit point healing per second? I, I guess block. The, we're gonna go a little bit different of strategy than we normally would. And while those guys are fighting and dying, I'm gonna get Pharaoh's guard. I mean, I am Ptolemy the Great. Guys, are, are you winning? Are you winning, son? Oh, they, he doesn't look like he's winning. All right, let's see what Pharaoh's guard looks like. Oh, man, they got those sweet goatees. All right, go take on those Roman. Those look like Roman militia. Yes, standard point level up. We're going straight blocking. Okay, so now we have to dispatch the Romans, eh? So the ore of standard, I have 6% increase to block and 15% to movement speed. So while the gates are repairing, I can't veer too far away. I'm tempted to try to buy more throwing spears here. These guys look so awesome. Here's a, an Egyptian shield wall. Look at the Romans just chilling over there menacingly. Where are you going? You're going the wrong way. Roma Victor, you're supposed to fight. Oh my God. But yeah, I, it's kind of interesting. Now, I think Shield Wall is a great game. I like it a lot. I think it has so much potential, but Formata was made by the same developer and there was a lot done on that. And I guess there wasn't much communication then either. But then like when it was like, hey, no more updates, that wasn't really communicated. I still think there's gonna be more. Oh God, we did not guard our loins at the proper moment there. Throw! Oh my God, that was a terrible one. Look at all my guys with sh spears in their face. Oh, I can't hire on this flag. I forgot all about that, actually. So let's see, can we win? You know what? The general will have to fight. So spears in the back. Oh, wow, we won. Okay. And we upgraded our standard. So we're going to get greater block as well. Now, this is going to be very, very tough to eliminate Julius Caesar. I'm, I'm realizing that the easy part was actually taking the fortress. Now, we have so much gold, though. We have so much gold that like, oh my gosh, yeah. I can do multiple, multiple upgrades. Standard respawn time. All right, boys. Let's do this. So I've got two throwing spears now, and it looks like we're going to fight around this flag. There's different upgrades I can do to where my guys will be able to heal around these flags. Wait, shields up. Oh my gosh. There we go. Man, they, you can't hit Ptolemy with a spear. I'm a deity. Anubis is my homeboy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh shoot, the standard bear just ambushed me. Wow, we held the line though. I mean, that just goes to show you the power of Pharaoh's guard. All right, guys, hurry up. We need to take this and then replenish our troops because we actually, we only lost six. Oh my gosh, but look at the battlefield. Imagine though, I think one thing, if this game does continue to be developed, um, well, I think it will because he, he, he mentioned the campaign was gonna get some new additions as well. But I think if it was to ever get multiplayer, that would be so awesome. Okay, yeah, see, Flag's healing aura would be really good. And I wonder if siege equipment would be cool. Like what if, you know, it was more castle attacking centered? Okay, there's only a few of them. Oh man, the reinforcements just came out of the woodwork. Oh, he upgraded a spearman. He's not at legionnaires yet, but these are tier two Romans. You may not like it, but that is not peak Roman performance. We got a lot of scarabs on our standard here because we're upgrading all that block. But yeah, it seems the Egyptians are probably a little more defensive oriented than say like the Romans. Oh, wow. That's a bold move, Julius. Uh, this isn't, this is not where you want to be. I know you like to be sieged on both sides, but this is not the way you want to do it. Open the gates. I am your king. Oh, there we go. That actually worked. Okay. If I blow the horn, we should have an increase to speed by 15%. I want to try to ninja cap. Oh. Okay. Julius just got reinforcements from the ocean. If they were actually reinforcements from the sea with ships. Oh my gosh. An amphibious assault map. That is what we need. And you could put ballistas over there. I really need to be a game designer. That's just my dream job. And I, I, I really want to do it. Now I can't hire on this flag. So let's see how strong Pharaoh's guard are. We only lost like two men. The Romans are, oh, come on. This is just sad. It's just sad. It's just sad how few men you have. Hey, two Brute. I guess I'm Brutus and he's the same guy he's always been. Gosh, like I want to get on a boat and go over to the Great Lighthouse. 
All right, I can do that too. Okay, just not very good. But like a sieging of the, the taking of the lighthouse. Oh man. Now I, I think this is done by one developer. So you have to understand that the amount of time that he probably puts into this by himself or near by himself with marginal help, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> All right, Caesar, you're coming with me. We're gonna we're gonna put you. We can do this the easy way or the hard way, friend. I want to put you. Uh, it'd be cool if you could capture them. Like, oh look at that, Caesar from the top rope. Boom. Okay, that may have been just the fastest victory ever. But yeah, so check this out. Like when you go to the campaign, we've done the siege of Alexandria, and there's supposed to be more in the Act Three when the Romans arrived. Now this was the one of the hardest maps. The other one, this one, because you had the catapults. Now I'm going to be Julius Caesar controlling these catapults. We're going to fight Leonidas and Vercingetorix. Actually, no, we're going to go to it. We want the Egyptians. Yeah, you hear that? See, this is what I'm talking about. There's these two giant catapults here and they'll fire randomly, but at the enemy. Look, there's one catapult. There's two catapults. Oh, man. And like, so one force is uh, storming the beaches actually right here. Man, if we would have met them. Catapults, I need your assistance. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, there's Cleopatra. Get him, boys. All right, but uh, we just won that. And now, unlike the last map, we are going to be able to spawn in more soldiers here. Oh, God. Cleopatra's going to get absolutely wrecked right here. Oh my gosh, the catapults. The inhumanity. Now, I wish blue and green would have fought right there. But Cleopatra, the AI, she's like, you know what? This is not a big deal. Not a big deal that, you know, uh, catapults are coming out of the woodwork. All right, get it, boys, get them. Now I need the catapults. Uh oh. Catapult's not here. Oh, good. Fired blue. Oh, he just got on the move, though. So those are probably going to be misses. All right. I think what we want to do is actually take this one over here. And blue is taking that fortress, but my catapults should fire at it. Let's see if we can't see. Oh, incoming. Oh, they hit the walls. All right. Blue's rotating over there. If I can meet them on the battlefield. Where's he going? Is he going to come this way? No, he's coming this way. Okay. Can I beat him? I don't think so. Depends how good those catapults do. Uh-oh, he got here just in time. Now, I cannot fight them there. I don't think that would be wise. Wait, if I can fight him outside of his fort. So that's Leonidas. Leonidas, where are you going, my friend? Oh, you want to fight? Okay, let's see if we can't draw him into getting catapulted. <laughs> catapulting! Yes! Well, that was easy. Now, where's the enemy going? I'm going to back cap him. He's spawning back on the beach. And I want to get legionaries once again, but I think we need to buy a standard and the standard sign. Now for this, what we want is flag capture speed. That is the key here to a quick and concise victory over the upstart Greeks. Oh yeah. Uh oh, wait, can I outrun them to my fort? I don't think so. Oh, never mind. They're low on numbers due to the catapult and they're weak. Don't let them take it. Catapult, boom, and boom. All right, guys, do not get distracted. There we go. <laughs> I'm a brilliant commander here. It's amazing how difficult the campaign missions are because they're set up so like, well, quite frankly, so they'll be very difficult. All right, I got my first legionary. He's right here. Look at him visually. You can tell because he's got like chain mail. Oh shoot, they're, I think they're taking the fortress. Follow the catapult rocks. Oh, they're over here? Yeah, so Cleopatra, she only amassed 76 resources. She got wiped out fast. Nothing to see here, Leonidas. This is the goat path, and it's mine. I will flank you. This will not be your Thermopylae, sir. Yeah, man, if this was multiplayer and I could be playing against you guys, there's so many great games out there. Ravenfield, Shield Wall. That is just like if they were just freaking multiplayer. All right, we got some spears here. Mm, good hits. Okay, hits. Come, Leonidas, fight me. All right, he's got the shield wall. What if we move backwards? Will they stay testudo? Let's see. Come on, catapults. Requesting artillery support. I want another round, and then we'll go after him. He's like, all right, guys, not a big deal. Just a catapult to the uh, left shin. My leg's gone, but it's fine. Oh, they're charging. Okay, those spears did not go well. All right, standard, you're with me. We, we've got a mission. Now, we upgraded our flag capture speed, and look at that. That is awesome. That's just so fast. Darius has a popcorn bowl as a hat, but he's got an impressive beard, a cool-looking sword, and a nice shield. So, Darius, you're looking pretty cool, man. Big pimp and hat right there, too. After Darius comes Xerxes, and here's the fun part, because there's two versions of Xerxes, right? One is the 300, which is a dude with lipstick, a speedo, and a giant battle axe. I mean, <laughs> 
Uh, that's, uh, that's unique there for sure. Hello, Xerxes. Go ahead, put on some clothes. <laughs> now we have the Princess of Persia as the third out of four. And she looks pretty cool. Like, look at that. Rather assassin hashashin looking pretty cool. And then we got Nebuchadnezzar. Now, Nebuchadnezzar, look at this dude, man. This guy looks awesome. Cool beard, really cool looking hat. He's got that cool Persian sword and he's wearing armor. So he's definitely my favorite so far. So we're gonna be using him. Now there's done a number of other changes too, including adding the Battle of the Nile, the Battle of Nicopolis, which takes place in Persia, and then the Battle of Zella, which also does. They've also, they've got these different levels of difficulty. So you can have like, you know, you can either get a bronze, silver, or gold trophy, depending on how you did and what difficulty level you used. So we've got this new map called the Battle of the Nile. Now let's go ahead and be Persia and let's change our color to what's pretty Persian. You know what I mean? I feel like purple is pretty Persian. Now we're going to have a Roman bot as red and then we'll have Egyptians as yellow. Now there's three different places to start. I want to start at the Sphinx overlooking the pyramids. So look at this. Good old. Oh, I guess we, we chose uh Darius, but oh, there's the Sphinx and look at how funny it looks and then there's the pyramids in the background All right, so let's see we got a pretty nice squad of men right here yellow's going and red is going Who do we want to fight first? Let's fight yellow the Egyptians Persia versus Egypt now it looks like we start off Well, yeah with tier one infantry our spearmen then we get axemen and then we get immortals Oh my gosh immortals are probably gonna be awesome now. Are they the immortals from like? Civilization six and kind of like historical lore. Oh, wow. We got Ramses, which is the cool one and I can still throw spears Which is great for flanking and spanking. Oh, I got him like in the armpit. Uh oh reds coming Did my men just get whooped my men actually got defeated and then there's Caesar. Hey, hey, don't do that Don't come at me. This is not going well. Don't worry soon. We'll have immortals. Oh if these gates close on me Are you kidding me and the Egyptians have such big spears? I mean shields all right, you know what? Let's go ahead and get... We'll hire two defenders. Defenders! Defend me! Don't throw spears way back there, you idiots. All right, I'm pretty good at spears, I guess. <laughs> he had a, a sad face on when I hit him in the head. Okay. Oh, those are those guys look... Wait, do they throw axes? Oh my god. No, they have axes. Okay, got it. Now we are low on gold. We fought and we died. Rome has just gone in there and captured everything they can. Yellow's already sieging Rome. Okay, Egypt is going after Rome. This is awesome. Where's my boys at? Where's my boys at? Hurry up. Bring your popcorn holding hats. Yeah, Yellow's doing a good job. Looks like they might break down the walls. If they do, I might be able to sneak in there. Oh, they're all dead though, I think. It's a very pitiful looking bunch of soldiers, man. Persia. Where is red? There they are. Don't want none of that smoke. Don't want none of that. Look at this though. The like the pyramids are capped. What if there's any Easter eggs if we were to go all over there and venture? Now where does Rome go next? Because if they go after me, this is gonna be bad news. They're not going after me. Okay, good. So then we'll follow in the wake, and then we got some like nice sand dunes and some foothills over here. We got some walled battlements in the background. I don't know what that is though. We can't really get there I don't think I wish you could get like on a horse and go exploring that'd be really fun to do in this world oh I was like uh oh we're getting attacked nope those are my reinforcements yeah so losing that first battle really sucked <laughs> yeah so we need to counteract reds dominance not necessarily yellows yellow you better not be heading this way oh look reds going for a siege oh wait red just broke down the gates oh my gosh this actually is an opportunity for me, I think. Will I be able to get there in time to stop the cap? Yes, possibly. Wait, I think just barely. Yes! Oh my god, it worked. Kill that guy. Oh my god, it worked. Thank you, Rome, for doing the hard work for me. Yes! Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Now Egypt is left, but I think they don't have a... Oh, they do have a home fort. Okay, there's yellow. We just gotta make sure they don't take my base. Wow, Rome was number one and they got eliminated, man. Bad luck. But Egypt is really good at fighting. Let's see where they go next after taking that circle. Come towards me. They went the other way. Oh wait, they're there. Look. 
They're stuck on the wall. They're like, hey, what are you doing over there, dude? We're just hanging out. Maybe we're all lining up to take a dump here in the street, you know? Try to slip you up. Yeah, you, you stay there. You know what? Boom. Missiles won. Nope. Stay there. Stay there long enough for me to capture this. Look at those big shields, man. All right. All right, that's okay. It's more of a disruption, I guess. Let's try to get Ramses. Ramses is down. Yes! All right, where's F? That was F. I need more men. We need more men. Let's get Axemen now. Axemen should be better in melee combat. Oh, they, they all spawn up there. Okay. Well, now, where's yellow going? Wow, we're only seven minutes in and we've already eliminated Rome. Okay. I, I mean, you know, it's just kind of whack when it happens. Dude, the Axemen look even cooler than these guys. I don't see yellow, though. Maybe they're low on money. They've only got one guard. Oh, they're back capping. Okay. That's fine. Ow. There we go. All right, we took this. Now, as long as they're, oh, they are taking Charlie. They're taking one of my forts. Biscuits, biscuits, biscuits. They're taking that one over there. Okay, if we can get there before the gates fall, which will be tough, we'll probably get there right after. And I and I really want to see the immortals soon. Okay, they got in there. Dang it, if we could have gotten there, we would have made this quick. But the good thing is we'll get to see what the immortals look like. There's my boys with your battle axes. Those are fierce looking battle axes. All right, which way is he going? Over there? Okay, we're gonna try to meet them. We'll meet them near the flag. But man, what a beautiful map. I would like to see... It'd be cool if they would open up, make a map making possible. You know, like a Steam Workshop type situation. Okay, now that we have some hatchet men. There we go. That weakened them. We should win this one. And soon we will get immortals. We'll put their name to the test. Well done, boys. Well done. Yeah, the only downside is I cannot recruit outside here, so it really prolongs these battles, doesn't it? I like the little obelisk. It reminds me of, like, how in Civilization VI you gotta buy a monument, and it gives you culture. Here, it's just something pretty to look at, but it is in the town square. This would be, like, a very small pop Egyptian city in Civilization. <laughs> Alright, yeah, it's time to get the immortals. Alright, big boys, where you at? Oh... Now they got swords, so we have spears, axes, and swords. Oh, they're retreating. All right, immortals, move up. We should be able to out-endure them in terms of gold production at the very least. Oh, they want to fight here. We'll take this flag, and I'll, I'll pin them back. Normally the A is like, oh, we don't like spears. Let's testudo. Testudo up. Testudo, I got a bunch of pointy sticks I want to throw at you. Oh, my God. All right, immortals, get them. Get them. Oh, I actually threw a spear in my immortals back. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Dang, we just stomped them. Oh, and the immortals, like, they have different, like, head scarves. There's a little variety there. All right. This is good. Now we're mostly going to have immortals. There's going to be a few spearmen and maybe one or two surviving axemen. Judging by their hats, we only have one surviving Axeman and two surviving Spearmen. Everybody else is an Immortal. Okay, the enemies just moved over here. We might intercept them, or they might be going around to capture a fort. It's in the hands of the gods now. Oh yeah, the Spearmen are doing good. We'll take this away from them at the very least. Oh, you know what? Do I... Oh my god, I do not have a standard bear. <laughs> oh, that's a tactical error. It's gonna take them a little bit of time. They're pretty weak. Look at the spearmen. Those high arcing shots. Oh, they turned right at the right moment. You just got the wall down. But now you die. Well, that was easy peasy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, what do we want? Okay. We can get attack speed, higher cost is down? Oh my gosh, that's new. That's really cool. So now my guys are cheaper? I should have gotten that so much sooner. I did not know that that was like the strategy. That means I can get cheap immortals. All right, boys. You know what the deal is. The Egyptians are trying to take our- Game cubes. And send us these 
We just can't allow that. Those are precious to us. Hello, Ramses. You have the coolest mask in the game, but we don't care. Because you gotta die. <laughs> oh, there's my standard bear with my spear in his back. I don't know how it happened. I really don't. Okay. Should we go on a gate crashing attack? I don't know. I guess we could. Where is Egypt? Look at that. So that's like a temple looking complex or maybe what the equivalent of a palace would be. Oh, hello, Ramses again. He's like, oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ramses, they locked you outside, didn't they? Wow, I missed with all those spears. All right, Ramses, we're going to knock down your gates here. Yeah, you know what? Gate crashing. Get him, boys. They don't have a lot of soldiers, actually. We might be able to pull this off in 15 minutes. That's how it's going to look. Oh, they're retreating. Oh, because Ramses is back there. <laughs> Ow. Now we eliminate them? No way. No way. We could make our guys, what, even cheaper, I think? Kill the last remaining of them. Dude, our, our little royal thing is awesome. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, we crushed them. They didn't even upgrade at all. That's interesting. Okay, so let's take a look at these campaign levels, right? So Battle of the Niles on the map that we just saw. Then there's the Battle of Nicopolis. I wanna see what this is. And we'll do easy. We're just taking a quick preview. Dude, okay. Looking at the map. Oh, it's a four person map. Wow, and these guys have a whole city over there. I bet that looks awesome. All right, what do we want to do? We can get a lot of guys right off the bat. Let's go. We want to do flag capture speed or attack speed or gold per minute. Probably attack speed. That seems like the most universally good. We can get a few men. We have our standard bearer, so we'll be getting XP early. Now, a flag to our left and a flag to our right. Oh, pink is grabbing that one. Okay. Doesn't look like anyone's grabbing this one. All right. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful looking bridge. Okay, there's the teal team. Tealish blue. Fuchsia. I don't know. I'm not the best with my colors. Oh, no. Pink is attacking. Oh, no. And I have no defenders up. I might be able to hire like one or two. Or I could just... Dang, this sucks. All right, I ordered two... There they are, throwing the spears already. All right, who wins? Romans? Or some dudes in pink shirts with pointy sticks? Looks like we won. All right, I've got two defenders. Oh man, I just noticed this awesome looking tower over here. All right, now we still hold that flag. Looks like we can take this one and then there's pink over there. Oh great, purple's taking my flag. Okay, we're going to see a pretty hot and heavy urban battle. Now, wait till you see this map right here as we queue up all of our soldiers that we can. This is a heavily urbanized map. There are four teams. One starts in this temple palace complex in the middle and they're getting 90 gold for that zone alone, but they're starting with three. Now they're there in the center, so they're likely gonna get attacked a lot. A over here, however, gets to start with an actual fortress that it can defend it. Me and Orange, which is apparently a Greek legion. Well, uh, we have to kind of fend for ourselves out here in the urban sprawl that is this Persian town. So one of the other things we're gonna wanna get is, let's go ahead and get a standard right off the bat, and let's go and try to capture some flags. Now in the early bit, we're gonna be kind of playing ring around the rosy, whack-a-mole, hit and run tactics and waiting for our opportune moment to strike while trying to upgrade our forces. Yeah, we don't want to be where two armies are going to be converging at the same time. That is for sure. Why don't you guys fight amongst each other? Do not come after me. All right, if blue's away, then we're going to take this zone real quick. I don't know where orange is sneaking around, but I'm going to be very curious to see who wins out of blue or green. But this is the temple complex. Oh my God, there's spears coming out of the bushes. They're throwing... How are they hitting us? Oh, they're in the... Okay, they're in the bushes throwing spears. Testudo doesn't work super well. We need Roman legionary shields and Orange is just making a beeline. Okay, if Orange is making a beeline and attacking the temple, look at that. They're actually going in. Persia's gonna wipe them out. Let's see if I can't grab a few of Orange's flags. Hey, here's a neutral flag. We'll take that. 
So this is E on the map, so we are right down here, okay. And if we're looking at the temple, then it looks like we can take this back path or go behind the temple to take D. So one of the reasons we wanted the standard early is so we can start getting our XP. These walls are awesome. Imagine a giant castle siege. This map is beautiful. So this must be one of the main gates to the city. We've been pretty fortunate so far. Oh, there's orange. Are you alone, friend? You are alone. Oh, shoot. We might actually be able to eliminate orange right here, right off the bat. That would be pretty huge. Actually, wait, where's Charlie? Charlie's over there. If orange, if we don't run into orange and we don't have to fight him for the 11th time. Oh, he's queuing up an army right there. But where is he going? Oh, he did buy a few defenders and he's actually going to attack the temple. So this is good. Jay's being attacked though. And he's got a few guards here. He's got four guards. Get him, boys. Oh man, he got me in my Achilles tendon. <laughs> oh, hey, two Brutus. I mean, I feel like whenever you're playing Julius Caesar and you take a spear in the head, you gotta you got make Brutus jokes. <laughs> All right. I'm pretty sure orange has been eliminated. Now, blue's definitely gonna continue being a problem. Where are we? We're heading to Bravo. There's the palace. We're gonna try to grab a bunch of green flags. But then if nobody's challenging blue, is this a good idea? I don't know. We have a ton of money though. Very ton of money. Okay. Then I think what we do is we take the standard main sign and with this, it's probably imperative that we go for a flag capture. I mean, that's basically where we're hanging out here. All right, E is being attacked. So that's all the way back here. It's probably blue or green. I really want to make a run for A's fort if we can capture that, but it would require green to be all the way down here capping and not fight blue. A lot of things would have to kind of fall in line. I'm kind of lost. Where am I looking? Is this the fortress? This is the fortress. Okay, the gates are open. Let's actually get some reinforcements. We need E to turn green. If E turns green, we can make an attack on the fort. L is... Orange is back? Oh, <laughs> Orange just took the castle. Are you kidding me? That is incredible. Oh my. All right, whoever was attacking E has failed. I can't believe Achilles is still alive. You know what? While they're doing that, should I just run in and grab the main castle? I think so. They just battered down the gates and they didn't hire any defenders. Okay, that worked out swimmingly. And we're doing really, really good in points. Yeah, the, me the main reason is the 90 gold per minute. All right, sorry, Orange. Thanks for doing all the hard lifting for me. And they just took Charlie. So I guess all four teams are alive and well. But I think... Oh, yeah, I was about to say, like, probably everybody wants this. There we go. We're leveling up. Oh my gosh, we have so much gold. Let's increase the number of units and get spearmen. I have no idea where green is. I uh, never mind. I have a pretty good idea where green is. They're right there. If they're over there, don't go back to your fortress. L is apparently being attacked, but by who? Oh, there's one orange guy. He's a defender, but I don't know if the AI knows how to deal with uh, that kind of complexity of a fort. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, blue's making attack on the fort. We have bigger shields? No, we have the same size shields. I'm letting blue just destroy that wall for me. And then I'm rushing in there. Hoping green's not there. Okay, let's go. Oh, he snuck in. He got in. He glitched. There's 45. <laughs> oh my god, I, I took a spear though. All right, let's take this. We've taken the fortress. We're only seven minutes in. This is good progress, I think. I mean, I, I think it is. All right, now go get them. Now here we want to have one, two, three, four, five, six defenders. And then we'll get legionnaires. They have a lot of defenders here. Okay, now I think the other upgrade we'll want to get is gate repair time. So that these gates... Have we taken this yet? This is A. It still says there's a sword. Wait a minute. Is there a guy up there? Oh, okay. There's two guys. We can't repair the gates while they hold the walls. Ha! <laughs> Spear to your face, nerd. All right, so the palace is being attacked. Orange made a comeback. I thought we eliminated them. Now they have four flags. Now it's blue. I mean, war never changes, but I mean, the tides of battle sure do. Now, what do we want to upgrade? Flag healing ore could be good, but we'll probably just need soldiers to start capping. But now we have a base that can't really, it can't easily be attacked. And we have a distinctive advantage on points right now. So we're going to take some of these peripheral ones near our fort. We actually still hold the castle. Are we getting the money from that? There's like one orange defender, I think. I don't know why nobody hasn't attacked it, but the gates haven't been repaired either. 
because of that one guy. Look at that. Romans on the walls. You love to see it. Okay, there's green over there. He's coming this way, actually. If we take this flag, we can spawn on it. Oh, green's actually dipping out. And we've got so much money. What do I want? Maybe a healing aura and a protection aura because I want to make sure that we fight around the flags. Yeah, so A is the fortress. So if we see that being attacked, we know someone's over there. Green's over there. Orange and green, so blue got wiped out. That is not how I thought this battle was going to go. Oh, green's going. I'm really inspired by the game Shield Wall. It's pretty good, especially for a dev team the size that it has. But it's like, if you could make a bigger and better version, what would you do? All right, green, I'm just gonna back cap you real quick. Get out of here. Get out of here. Whoa, 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 where did that spear come from? Hey, go get those guys, will you? Shoot. Oh, wow, I have, all of my things are being attacked. Orange is killing it. All right, green. We'll bleed you. We'll bleed you. Come and get us. Oh, there's orange. I'll just throw spears at those guys' backs. All right, green is coming this way. Is there... There should be a flag here. All right, green's gonna attack my walls. Yeah, just follow the row of spears. Follow the yellow brick road. Oh, is orange attacking too? This actually could be pretty bad. All right. You're doing so good, Persia. We'll just mop you up real quick. Dang. Orange is actually trying to eliminate green right now. This could be really bad. If green dies, which it does look like they're doing that. Oh my God. Okay, and I actually have so much money. So we'll take two things of spears. Wow. Wow. I killed like nobody. Actually, wait, we need to lure them to a battlefield of our choosing. I'll probably want quick respawn. Now, now they're gonna get stabbed. We're gonna fight them right here. All right, get them boys. There's Achilles. There's his really cool looking dude <laughs> his his dude all right we're actually gonna kill one of the guards on the wall i i don't know what to do about orange i wasn't expecting everybody to get taken out so early and look at this guy again okay maybe if we can lure him into attacking yeah he's really catching up to me in score all right blow the horn Oh, we have an extra point. Yeah, there's that one guy right there. We kill him, we'll be able to repair the walls. There we go. Walls are being repaired. I think they're running at my walls over there. Yeah, they're attacking A. Man, it, orange is just going crazy. They have so many flags. Can we kill them all right here? Or will they break in? Look at this. Hey, we got a lot of pointy sticks too. <laughs> wow, we didn't lose any men right there. There's the green general. The last of his kind. All right, we have all of the upgrades we can get. Orange is taking L as we speak. The center complex. This is not how this battle was supposed to go. Like, at all. Maybe they got lost up there. This is good, though. It's allowing me to take a lot of stuff from Orange. Okay, they just took L. That means he should be close. Should be coming out, right? Probably going for some red flags. Here we go. All right, we've got protection over here. Whoa. All right, we have to win this battle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We did not win this battle. Achilles is running too. All right, I'm at J. I can't spawn men there. That was the issue. All right, we got to retake this. Luckily, there's no defenders this time. Yeah, with such a big map, this is going to be super weird chasing down orange we have full upgrades already and we're only we're not we're almost halfway through there's a defender there's just defenders everywhere headshot and this is where the blue guy died you know what i should do is attack the greeks while they're attacking here yep because i can get reinforcements here ha! idiots yeah reinforcements boys that worked out that worked out well all right, Jay is being attacked. That's right over here. We just need to beat them. Yes! Okay, we won. We took that. Now I need more men from here and then to push them back. We've taken a lead, a commanding lead, but they could be anywhere. We'd be really lucky if they decided to attack my castle. D is under attack. Oh, it's just whack-a-mole at this point. All right, where they're going, look, they went D and then C, and now they're taking B. They might go to A to attack the fort, which would be like a kamikaze run for them. While we're going, how is that guy on a house? That's actually a really good defensive point, and I don't know how he got up there. Ha! Ha! 
There we go. We hit him once. You know, we'll give him a volley. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I know where they are. They're over to my left, taking this flag. Okay, good. We're going to have two spears. He has Spartans, doesn't he? <laughs> Sorry, guy. I have so much gold and nothing to do with it. I guess that's one of the downsides, right? Is like after a certain point, you can only have so much gold. Where's E and how is it already under attack? <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Yeah, all upgrades, max units, which is only 24. There needs to be something like, I want to be able to get more men or siege equipment, something. Upgrade a fort. Maybe have unit cap that's different for my infantry that are going to go with me and then guys that are going to be defending a point. Because otherwise, you're just all over the place. And there's not a long respawn time, so armies, it's almost just like it's just gold. The army doesn't really matter too much. There they go again. I got an idea. Because the AI just derps out right there. I have so much gold, I don't know what to do with it. All right. I think we will defeat them here. I just noticed they have these funny little rings on the top of their helmets. I'm not sure what that's for. I'm sure it's historical though, right? I like, I do like how the general like, you see where they died, you know? Like, where was their last stand? All right, so we've taken all of Orange's territory. Now all we have to do is lure them out. Are you still guarding the gate? Oh, now you're running up there? Okay, okay. Get them, boys, fight the Spartans. I'm gonna try to get by them. Oh man, urban combat is tough. We'll just take damage at this point. All we gotta do is cleave through the Spartans with our Roman Legion. So we fought some immortals, but it seems like the Spartans we're the true test. And there we go. Look, there's one dude. Hello, standard bear guy. Yeah, yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. check out Ramses. Okay, now if we spawn in some units here. Now, let's see. Militia, what does our militia look like? Oh, man, that like that is just, it's hitting it on the head. These are perfect. Okay, now how's Cle <laughs> Cleopatra in a metal bikini? <laughs> Look at that eagle and her sword looks awesome. It's it's like the Kopesh and she's kind of got the half moon shield now Are her militia the same? I would imagine so but it would be kind of cool if they were somewhat stylized a little bit different Right, so they've got those kind of like almost tombstone looking uh, or rather shaped shields and they've got their short spears So let's actually press tab here We go from we go from the spearmen to warriors and the warriors to the Pharaoh's guard the elite. Oh man, those guys are gonna look awesome. Now let's see the final leader, Ptolemy. So we've got new missions. Oh, Ptolemy, bro, you're like, you know what I like? I like cool hats and goatees. And that's exactly what I got right here. His shield looks even more impressive. He's got uh, some more armor. This guy must've been a warrior king. And soldiers much the same. So this is going to be awesome. Now, as far as which leader, I think we gotta go with Ramses just cause he looks the coolest. All right, gentlemen, I don't speak Egyptian, but my God, do I have a cool mask and an amazing war axe. Now we're going to let the two, uh, these two guys fight. Now I believe I'm at unit cap of 19. Let's see. Yep. The limit of units is reached. So basically we're going to let the barbarians of Gaul, barbare, if you speak Latin, there was a really cool Netflix show about that. Go get them boys. Maybe I shouldn't let them cap the flag. Let's see if their respawns come in here. Yeah, oh, okay. So shieldmen aren't too, aren't nearly as aggressive. They like to stay in formation and the green guys are already coming as well as the blue. So we'll pull back a little bit and let blue and green keep duking it out. I'm my essential, my goal right here is to save up gold while they're fighting and I'm thinking it's time to get a standard. So did the standard, will he pop up near my flag when I'm close? Because apparently the Egyptian standard also. Standard bear, there you are. Oh my God. Whoa. Anubis would be so proud of this army. Now let's take a look at our standard. Okay, so we have melee damage, health per second, flag capture speed, gold per minute, and higher cost. Higher cost, is that new? And look at this, all of these have um, 
hieroglyphics, and as you combine the hieroglyphics, they can get additional rules. So that's going to be one of the things we're going to want to do. But essentially, right now, the additional rules are simplified. You just combine two of the same things. So this one is block, and then the bird is gold per minute, and then the uh, more elaborate one is HPS, health per second. I think we want the birds. The bird is the word, after all. Uh, because you, let's see, who's holding blue? All right, as blue dips out to either go fight green or something, that's when we are going to try to take the middle point. Essentially, the economics that's going on right here are called war economics. War economics. And the more men we lose, the more we have to spend on getting them back. So we want to take this gold per minute and save up as much gold as possible to try to get a tech advantage or numerical superiority or preferably both over the enemy forces. Green is coming in. Blue's coming in too, so we will let them fight. But I want to see if I can't... Now, I have no experience points, and I'm only going to get them from fighting. So what we do here is let them duke it out, and we hold this flag, and we kill whoever is the victor. All right, is it time to intervene? Yeah, it is, because uh, Gaul is just getting absolutely routed. And as our men get destroyed, our standard bearer has no sign, so he's just holding what looks like a glorified spear right now. And we will replace our casualties in the spawn point of this flag, and I think this is a pretty good map to show off the Egyptians in a very, you know, orderly fashion. So let's... This is kind of nuts. Increasing your gold per minute by 20% is... Oh. Oh, I was looking at the wrong one. Okay, so we know what they do. Uh, 10 plus 10 is 20. It'd be cool to see, like, maybe a little bit more. So now we went from 90 to 99, because... Hey, guess what? You multiply 0 0.1 times 90, and guess what? It's 9. So we got 99. Although, essentially, you'd want to multiply 90 by point or 1.1. All right, we'll pull back. Hopefully, green comes soon. Rally to me. You know what? We're going to fight them because green is coming in. As our guys die, we'll get more. A few of my spearmen are holding them off. And you know what? Let's use this battle axe, man. Hey, I am the pharaoh. You can't do that. Swordmen attack a little bit faster. So they're absolutely routing my men. I almost fell off a cliff. All right, guys. All right, guys. On me. On me. Let them let them do their thing over there. We, gotta, we just got to hold the flag and, and keep the gold superiority here. Yeah, so I need upgrade my men ASAP, but unfortunately since I committed to this battle, I'm now back to like 90 gold. Now, do we have time before the reinforcing waves get here? Yes, we do. So, that's the cost of engaging in these battles. We did get a decent amount of experience, right? 80 experience for that? Was it worth it? I don't know. We gotta see if we can work it. We have to drop their army down, flip the script on their attacks, and reverse it. Alright, blue is coming in and is green. Green's more on schedule this time. So, we, we pulled out. We gotta have a very strong pullout game to essentially assure that blue and green will aggro to each other. Green, the Gauls are taunting them. Oh, oh God, that's my standard bear. I was like, who's that? It's an ambush. All right, you know what? And we'll, ooh, we got another one. So let's get that gold up. So now we're at 108 for holding the middle flag. So an extra 18 gold per second. Plus, if we look at the map, uh, our home base is 180 and this flag is 90. So I guess you could upgrade that. And I think it might be in, yeah, the aura of the standard. My standard bear being in the zone increases the gold. I think we got another one too. So we already have one uh, crane. Is it a crane or some kind of a pelican bird? <laughs> now let's see. Gold per minute, hit points per second. Oh, see, I don't have any damage. I don't have some of these. I want the higher cost one, but we do not have that available. I'm going to concentrate on maybe a few more birds and then go some of the other ones. All right. Now, I think what we're going to want to... I think the coolest thing we're going to want to do is see the new units. So we will get the warriors now. And then with the next 200, we will increase our unit cap. And as our militia get replaced, we'll be able to uh, summon in a lot of the new warriors that I think will be... Egypt maybe a little bit not as strong with our tier one. And that's essentially what this is, is tier one you start out with. Then there's tier two and tier three. But the Pharaoh's guard are probably going to be awesome. Oh, hello. Hello, Barbare. Get them, boys. Keep them off our flag. Uh, blue is not marching in yet. They're saving up gold. They might be doing doing some uh, military reforms, some upgrades. Oops. All right, where's a warrior? I'm trying to summon them in. I may have... Oh, I, I see like one. He's got a little silver head uh, thing on his headdress. We'll keep them off our flag. So I was summoning in militia on accident, just out of habit. I swear it never happens. We'll replace our losses because there are quite a few. So now these are all warriors. There may be one or two spearmen and the standard bearer did level up. Wait, did they just retreat? Hey. Oh, I, see, I hit my standard bearer. I'm so sorry, friend. Shoo. All right, so we, we've held the line here. So now, do I want to keep fighting? Green and blue, they're offset on their spawning. So this is where it can get expensive because I can't just let them fight each other. But I'm pretty sure, I can't tell if they have tier two infantry yet. Oh, wait, some of their guys have bigger feathers and some of them don't. All right, let's spear them from the side so that I can kind of be a, a force modifier here, a force multiplier. Okay, I have two points available. I'm gonna get even more gold. So now 
this flag went from 90 to 135. Who's yelling? Who's yelling? And look at that. Look at our standard bearer. All right. We've got, we got, we like birds. We are big fans of birds. We like to watch birds and put, uh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I may have, uh, I may have missed the opportunity here. Yeah, this is bad. Can I run through this bush? I cannot. The bush is invincible. That, that may have been a tactical error, but I'll respawn these guys in and just blow the gold. Yeah, essentially I'm fighting two armies. <laughs> this is an expensive mistake. I am in danger. Hello, Caesar. A two Caesar. A two. Oh, right in your neck, mate. Oh, wait, you're alive. Hey, 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 chill out, bro. My standard bearer's got a little uh, present for you. All right, so we're down to like no gold, but we may have gotten the timing of their attacks the same again. But if you look in the upper left, the team points are drastically in our favor. So our goal of getting to Pharaoh's guard is slowly but surely on its way. All right, blue's attacking. Green, come on. Green, green, dude. Dang it, green. Now you're coming. All right, we will uh, pull away from this and save up the gold. We, we've been riding it for a while. We can let them take this. You know what we could do is... If they take that, should I just take their flag? You know what? I'm feeling a little cheeky. I think blue will win that one. So maybe green was the one we'd want to attack. All right, boys, we're going to be taking some Roman pylum. And unfortunately, they have a door. Yeah, right in your head. Big bag up. There we go. That guy's dead. I always wish there was a little bit of an aiming indicator here. Oh, we're in. Oh, God, we're in the base, but they respawned here. All right, so that was a uh, fool's air in there. We will retreat and lick our wounds. Oh, that's a full army chasing me. Dang it. So I think in that case, we probably should have attacked green, but hindsight is 20-20. It'll help from our our friends the gulls there you go thanks guys all right you nuts so now we will take this flag hopefully fast enough standard bearer went up a point so let's get that gold boys we get those upgrades i don't know if we're gonna be able to hold this are there blue and green alive i'm dead respawning in 10 seconds we'll have to go back okay so pharaoh's guard now how cool are pharaoh's guard whoa they got some big old hats they got body armor still the the star of the show is definitely ramses put that one on the wall oh that's cool you can see the health of your wall there all right you may have killed me but I am an immortal. Oh, you what, mate? They are attacking me. I take that as an offense. All right, boys, hold the line. All right, and I am in the aura, so am I getting even more gold? Of course, the doors close behind me. It's like, that that's the one thing I would change. And we just wiped them. We just wiped them. And we lost maybe four guys, so that shows the power. This is supposed to be producing 180 on the map, but we have it at 306? Oh, my. Okay, so staying here and teching up seems to be the course of action. We are going to increase the number of soldiers we can get from 20 to 25 with our next 200 gold. They said lots of visual style with the Egyptian units and I couldn't agree more. We have the Greeks, the Gauls, the Romans, and the Egyptians now. There we go. We have max units. All right. Now, is the army gone? I need to silence one of them. I don't see anybody. It's very strange. Blue apparently won the battle. Are they attacking green space or do they just wipe each other out? We got to take this flag ASAP. I guess upgrading your attack speed's good, but I love how they just kind of pause because it gives you time. Maybe the AI should have a little bit more urgency there. All right. Oh, man. Biscuits and gravy. But look at how, look at how much we should be winning. All right. So now health per second could be really good. So we'll start getting our health back. Then we'll survive more battles and I'll have to spend less. All right, boys, get the gulls. And I feel like if there were better combat mechanics, I would fight more as a general. But generally, it's like the uh, cost benefit analysis here is a little bit rough because like if you die as a general, your army falls apart. So maybe having a little more power. So there's a risk reward there. The reward being like you do a lot more damage to the enemy. Yeah, but definitely, man, getting getting that, uh, getting the standard bears that boost your income and sitting back at your main flag point seems to be a good idea. Ooh, standard bears done. So we will get that. So now we have 0.4 hit points per second while in this. So it's like this just became a fortress of its own. All right. It's time. They both have doors. So let's see. Actually, let's stay here. No, let's let them fight. What I need to upgrade is gate crashing. Gate crashing. All right. We're going to go back to the home base. So we're about halfway through 14 minutes in. And I'm thinking what we do is we... Looks like Gaul is winning that one. We're going to get this guy in the standard bear so this boosts it from 180 to <laughs> 306. So we can just get massive amounts of money. Yeah, and like so, it makes more sense to come back here because I don't have to spend for reinforcing troops. These guys are attacking me. You freaking what, mate? All right. Don't shut the door until all of our men are out or that'd be a disaster. I lost some men. I need a... You need a toggleable uh, switch or a button so that the gates don't close behind you. You, you can operate that or if everyone's dead, they automatically close because I, I do not like being cut off. All right, so now I'm thinking we get spear. No, we'll get the standard bear sign 
Oh, move speed, health per second, or gold per minute. Oh my gosh, I should have gotten that ages ago. We're at 378. We've doubled what this flag point should be producing. The Egyptians are all about that cash and all about that grain too from the Fertile Nile River. Like, look at how much gold I'm getting per second. Is blue is blue taking a peek at us? Hopefully Gaul comes in and smacks you a booty. Yeah, there they go. Okay, I guess I should have seen that and been going after one of them. We're gonna go after one of their bases. No, we're not. We're gonna capture the flag and time it better because blue will die. They'll respawn and it's just our timing would be off. Now, will they just keep respawning? Oh, the horn, I think, increases the gold to 40. So they're respawning everybody. That's okay. I guess blocking would be good. We gotta get it, right? All right, boys. Oh, man, green's coming in. Blue should be out of gold. I'm thinking, you know what we do is if we can capture this fast enough. Yeah, I just get the reinforcements and wipe out Gaul. I should have let Gaul take it. Man! I want to see if we blow... Oh, yeah, Blue's basically bankrupt. All right, so we'll keep him off the flag point. We'll wait till he comes in with, like, two or three guys. He he's essentially bankrupt. If, if he's coming in with not a full army, we are slowly winning this war of attrition. Flag healing aura. Let's do that so all of my guys... I wish I could press, like, some button to see their health. All right, that's a full army. And that's a full army. So... Now it's time to wipe one of them out. Pick and choose. Pick your poison. We're choosing the Romans. Although the Romans are red, and I feel like Egyptians, we should be yellow, maybe? But red does look pretty sweet. So they haven't even taken the flag. Oh, I got him, and he got me. There we go. The guard is dead, but now their army's here. We're gonna just push through this. Take down the gates! Kill everybody! As long as green doesn't attack my fort, we should be fine. I'm trying to get through here. There we go. We, bro we busted through. What am I stuck on? Bodies. <laughs> Let the bodies hit the floor. Oh, and green actually retreated. Oh, there you are, Caesar. All right, you want to do this? How about a spear in your nostril? The left one. Oh, I missed. There we go. Cut him down. Green is going in. We refill the army. And it looks like we're going to be fighting green right here. The gate is being repaired. And I'm thinking it's time to buy some pylum because we just have so much gold. Now, this is cool. If you haven't seen in Shield Wall an entire legion of your best troops firing spears all at the same time well you're missing out and it looks like we're gonna have a siege here it'd be cool though if like you could buy siege equipment get a catapult or a scorpion a ballista something like that siege tower battering ram i don't know to attack these enemy forts all right it looks like green wants a battle in the field Oh, we kind of missed there, but we took a, we hit a bunch of them. Gentlemen, keep fighting. We almost have. Oops, I accidentally, there's a little bit of friendly fire there, actually. No, don't, don't tell anybody. Kill their, kill the Singatorics. We will get reinforcements here and we will push. Now, this is the toughest part of any battle. What I need is more pylum and more pylum because there's going to be these guards and we're going to try to pylum the one on the right and the one on the left and gate crash. Oh, let's stay out of range. Stay out of range. No reason to fight in the range of theirs. All right. So essentially the AI though is smart. Egyptians seem to be fighting. Maybe everybody's a little bit fighter formation. So they go testudo. But all you got to do is be a little patient. But look how cool. See, that's that's shield wall. Now they're going to charge in about three, two, one. Oh my God, I timed that right. I, I totally knew it the whole time. No doubt in my mind. Ah, ah. And they're dead. We have the elite Pharaoh's guard. Now I think we should have one pylum left. Testudo, stay close. Stay close to me. There we go. Now hit the gates. Crash those gates. And they're waiting for us on the other side, boys. What? You have like 80 spears in your face. Get them. Slay them all. Horns on cooldown. Uh, we may not be able to get through this first wave, but the gates are down. Oh, shield bear is dead. Don't worry, gentlemen. I will go get reinforcements and you and you will go get to see how great the afterlife is. All right. And once we get there, boom, all reinforcements all the time. Oh, and they're coming out to fight me. Okay. So hopefully the gates will still be down by the time we get, uh, finish this. Let's see. Flags protection or gate repair time. I'll do a little bit of that. All right, boys. Come on, we gotta get there. Look at that. Look at all that all that red paint. All of our blood, sweat, and tears are all over that gate. We must get back in before they can repair it and close it. What I liked is uh, Nezon Productions made this old game called Formata, and it I, I really liked it. And, um, oh man, we gotta get there so they can't just choke point us. Don't Thermopylae me in here. Oh god, that's a little fence. I can't see. I would love where, like, when I go to throw my spear, I turn transparent or something, because I think I'm getting my butt kicked, man. Oh, my standard bears. Oh, yes! We did it! Hold the middle. We'll test Dudo up against that sh spear uh, as long as we can. If we can take this flag, then we will have won the war. And then it's just mopping up. It's mopping up time! Because now this base is mine and I can build infantry. And that is a victory for the new Egyptians. Incoming! Are those things adjusting in flight? I, I really hope not. So this is going to be interesting. Oh, that's a blue army and they've got a full force to be reckoned with. I think we're going to have to play Ring Around the Rosie while dodging catapults. No one else has to dodge catapults. This is going to be bad because I'm going to be not moving while I have to take this flag or not moving much 
And there's catapults <laughs> incoming. I want catapults. All right, hopefully blue and purple fight each other, because if so, that could be really good. But I think if I hide behind these cliffs, that might be very essential. I don't, I don't know why that... Oh, watch out! Oh, no! Okay, well, that's perfect timing. We're just about to attack this flag. Well, it was already taken. Oh, my God. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. So I think the first thing we need to do is save up enough money to get a standard bearer. That's going to cost 400 because 200 for the standard bearer upgrade. Woo! Shoot, they're getting really accurate. The more I have troops in this conga line, the more difficult it is for me to be able to dodge these incoming catapult shells. But if purple and blue can keep fighting, I need them to stay alive, but I need to catch the advantage. That's always the way it is in these little three-for-alls. And I say three-for-all because, well, it's me, red, blue, and purple. But I don't see blue or purple around. So that's what we call fantastic news. Because I should be able to retake this flag and get an increased gold rate of 60. Okay, the catapults can hit me tier. Guys, watch out! Oh my god. Oh, biscuits. Okay, that one actually hit the castle walls, so maybe walls <laughs> help you defend against siege equipment. Okay, how much gold do I have? 200. I need the standard bear fast. Yes! Blue and purple are fighting. This is exactly what we need. Okay, um, are they retreating? We don't really want to get in a pitch battle, especially since... I wonder if I could get the catapults to hit them. Yeah, take that guy out, please. This is actually working, because if I have four flag points... Watch out! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, okay. Well, uh, that sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It does. I think my standard bear should- Oh my god, everyone's dying to catapults. There's like no safe spot on this map. I'm gonna go back over here in my rotation, and I'm gonna get the standard bear sign. Because this is what I need. I need an increase of 30%. That's massive. 30% gold increase per minute. Oh! Dang! These catapults suck! Oh god, no, it's the Greeks. Wait, those are Greeks. What are the Greeks doing here? Okay, let's see what happens here. I feel sorry for everybody. <laughs> okay, good. It affects blue too. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is bad. Uh, my army is... Okay, they're, they're, some of their men are retreating. That is absolutely awesome. I'm actually happy that there's this retreat instead of people just like fighting to the death all the time. Get that guy. Oh, my shield bearer. There's a catapult shell incoming. <laughs> Hey, where are you going? No retreating. I'm dead. That's impossible. I'm the protagonist. But look at how much uh, team points are generating for purple and blue. We're definitely behind here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd my army go? There we go. There's some reinforcements that we need. Yeah, so we're being very judicious with our gold, but apparently it's just not enough. The dang Greeks, man. The Greeks. You'll notice that the biggest thing that is interfering with my plans is the fact that these catapults aren't after. Blue is also not, like the catapults are purpley owned. They're owned by the purple, if, if, if that, those are the words I was trying to say. <laughs> this is really bad. Now, what's my gold rate? Okay, now my gold rate is up to 380. I don't need it yet. It's a, it's a means of desperation. If I could take four flag points here, we would be able to catch up, I think, because we gotta get upgrades, man. I need to have a command that's like, TAKE EVASIVE MANEUVERS! There's giant burning rocks being hucked at us. Alright boys, on me, on me, on me, we need to go retake this flag point. If purple and blue can move their, you know, uh, quid pro quo attacks up further up the field, closer to, to the CITY! Whoa! Then, uh, that would be great. That would be great. Some of the other siege equipment I love to see is battering rams. Um, scorpions slash ballistas. The Romans were renowned for using those. Mangonels is like a catapult, but it fires like a bunch of shrapnel. I don't know about balancing any of this stuff. This is just stuff it would be fun to see. And I think we should go investigate these walls over here. Get them, boys! All right, so I got to stand on the periphery here. My God! That last catapult rocked us. It aims for me, and I don't know, like, if I have an army on me, like, they're going to die. Purple and blue are both steal my stuff. All right, boys, we got to get out of here. Incoming rocks. I'm down to eight men. Just due to catapults. And A's being taken. Hmm. And purple's here. Great. I spent all this time taking it for purple to be like, Hey, I see that you're dealing with my annoyingly obnoxious AI counterpart, Blue. Now's the time I'm gonna make my introduction, say hi, and spit all over your fried chicken dinner. Yeah, I think the only thing I would do on this is change the catapult's range. I think that's like trebuchet range. That's not catapult range, gosh. 
So we're 15 minutes in and I have the same number of flag points I started with. And that is the reason why. Obnoxious three for all. I love the catapult idea. It's just these missions when you ring around the rosing all the time. It's just like, can I, can I have something else? Is there a mechanic that would be better than just, you know, the balance, like balance shouldn't be. I mean, I guess it can be. I just wish it wasn't. The fact that there's this obnoxious Greek army like, hey man, I see you're in a Roman civil war. Have you thought about what would happen if I was here too? See, wouldn't it be cool if you could like pay blue off like, hey blue, like, dang it, see? Just stop it, blue. You're so annoying. <laughs> we have four flags. Is this is this real life, guys? Watch out. I think what I might need to do is have small groups of defenders. I don't know if the catapults will aggro to the defenders. I think they'll only aggro to my army, so let's try that out. We'll put a few uh, defenders there. That's actually seven. That's quite a bit. But if I can just hold these two lines. Bees? How? Oh, there's another path. Okay. Come, come fight me over here. It's a... Uh, terrain that's advantageous to me and purple's coming in see those guys knocking their pylums i can't predict the ai oh my god and then all my defenders just died to purple cool 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 that's super cool dude yeah maybe catapults should focus on whoever's closest to the castle instead of aggroing to me that'd be one change i would do or they'd have a, a select area in which they could be active in and i would seriously have their uh fire rate reduced because since there's two of them, and they can s fire at you even if they can't see you, and there's no spotters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It feels a little cheap. I'm not entirely sure how the AI's logic system is. Like, do they just go for the nearest flag point? Are they trying to balance the game? Are they trying to mess up all of my plans? Which I sure seem to be good at. That stone, I swear, it looks like it curves in the air almost. I don't know how we're supposed to break through those gates. While you're attacking the gates, they've got ranged combatants throwing pylum, and they've got the catapults that are even more direct. You have less time to react then, but we're going for it. We've only got, ooh, that's a bad one. That's hit near the end of the train. It's been so long since we've had any hope, but I don't see anybody here. Oh, great, there's a freaking army over there. You know what, screw it. Nope, 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 nope. Those catapults? Yeah, I was like, where's the catapults at? Oh, right there. Taking your full army down to 15. I wish I could upgrade the speed of my troops. If there was one upgrade, yeah, like, there's... I'm not getting there in time, all right. God, especially now with catapults! You dang catapults! They, these things are the end of my existence. Oh, good, fight me here. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! The catap... Oh, I think I got the general in the face with the pylum. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't. I mean, it's, it's. <laughs> oh my goodness. I got 122 gold. All of my gold goes to men. Hey guys, come. You're supposed to come to me. I'm, I'm literally calling you. I'm your leader. I am your leader, you idiots. Stop chasing him. And Baron's most frustrating video of the entire year of 2020 is this one. Oh yeah, just run into a bunch of pylum. You, I'm literally telling you to come to me. Stop sacrificing yourselves. Game's over. We literally have zero flags. Blue and purple are actually fighting. If that would have happened earlier, things may have been different. Yeah, Catapult's like, wait, I can lead them. I'm really, I got my protractor out and I got advanced trigonometry and mathematics here. A target leading computer. We've got advanced computers. We're using like 12 Apple IIs connected via uh, cat three cables. I don't even know if those are real, but if there's a cat five, there probably was a cat three at one point. We're going on the last hurrah. There, there's no other way, but at least, oh, <laughs> purple's like, Hey man, uh, I heard you were trying to attack our walls. That's cool. But what if, what if we, uh, what if we had fully upgraded troops? Guys run. <laughs> oh no. First time of catapults. Was it fun? I mean, no. <laughs> But was it interesting? Heck yeah, it was. I'm glad there's catapults in the game. Just just don't make them so Death Star-ish, please. Yeah! Yeah! We did so good! But, I mean, look at Purple's net worth. They must have some insane money monies. Alright. What if I tried it again? Okay, Blue's marching that one. Then I'm marching over here. This is the one thing I didn't do in the last one. 
was go over here to whatever is over here. I haven't even seen it. Oh, that's a cute village. Are my, sol my soldiers aren't going to jump down that cliff, are they? Are we outside of cannonball range? <laughs> nope. I'm not even going to call them catapults anymore, man. All right. I'm going to try something. It's bold. I upgraded great gate crashing. And I'm just saving all my money to replace the men that are going to get absolutely wrecked. And my strategy's already kaput. Because purple is right there. I don't see a situation where I'll, like, adequately be able to pinch blue. Blue's the most obnoxious, but purple's just getting rich. I guess the purple is representing Pompey Magnus, who historically... Oh! Yeah. Historically, apparently had <laughs> heat-seeking catapults. He was like the super wealthy guy, and Julius Caesar's like, Man, why can't we be friends? Why do you hate me? Why are you jealous of me, bro? That's history right there. History synopsis. Okay, I think I should have a moment of reprieve here. Don't hit us on the bridge, catapult. I'm running this way, catapult. Wait, are we... Oh my god. They're instantaneous. And they have gates. And you speared me? Stop it! All right, we, we upgraded gate crashing. If purple's not here, we have a chance. If not, it's over. Oh, the catapults were waiting. Is there a flag in here? No, <laughs> there's purple. Purple is already here. Purple, go away. Go somewhere else. There are no enemies. Oh, wait a minute. <gasps> we made it. You can't take out the catapults? Oh God, there, purple's, purple's chasing us and catapults are firing. Okay, hopefully I can get out these gates. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, stop the gates. You <laughs> can't see me from purple. Oh, I have no flags. I got no money. I mean, I, I do have some money. I wish blue would go to attack. Once I, like like I said, if we could if we could mercenary them, I, I think I'm dead and I don't know where I'll respawn. Yeah, I can't respawn. Okay, well, I just learned that the only way to take the catapults, we can't take the castle. I think you what you have to do is wait till purple is gone. I'll give it one more go. If we could have like ships with catapults, sieging that amazing looking fortress. Like this is a very, this is one of the coolest looking maps. All right. Oh, purple pivoted. If I could have waited one second, I'm gonna have to go this way. Blue's gonna back cap me. This is what we know to be true. This is the life of Julius Caesar. Oh, Blue's like, hey man, I'll see you lot doing stuff. That's cool, that's cool. I gotta do it. I, I went to gate crashing. I spent all my money on gate crashing. We gotta wait for the next two catapults. There's one. There's two. Okay, we can make it. Oh, that stone. That stone right there, man. And purple's back. All right. Retreat, retreat, retreat. <laughs> bravely, bravely, bravely running away. Dang. One really good stone in the fact that purple's marching back. This is literally the most dangerous point. Purple's coming. There goes half my army. We're down to six men. Purple and blue fight. Purple and blue fight. All right, we'll take this point while they're doing that. Maybe. Maybe we have enough time. <laughs> that stone killed everybody. Well, I was going to take that flag and now blue's there. Probably as they march up to here, it's purple. So... Here's the situation. We need to figure out a working strategy to deal with heat-seeking catapults and two armies whose entire goal is to beat me into absolute submission. And they have done a very good job. While all of them get more gold than I do. Seems fair? No, it's not fair. Look at this. I'm getting pinched right now. So anyway, this is on Russian difficulty. So. If you guys want to see more Shield Wall, now that we've got the update, let me know. And we can come back to this one and uh, endure the seventh circle of hell all together. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go deal with this the easy way. <laughs> Catapulting into the water. And then... Do I drown? Hello there. I'm going to hide here. Now nobody can get me. Never. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Wait a minute. Is this the glitch? Is this the exploit? Oh, they're coming in the water too. Never mind.